Huh, freezer's empty. You got any thoughts on dinner? Dinner! Welcome to Hand to Mouth. Today, we're actually going to be talking fish. Now, if you're lucky, you live on the coast in a port town, and you can roll down to the local market and get a nice filet for a good price. Yeah, but most of us are stuck in the middle of bumfuck landlockton, where the fish smell funny and glow. Mm -hmm. Hey, that glow saved us 10 bucks on the power bill, and it gave you that third nipple. True. But it also means good fish is pricier because it has to travel longer. Luckily, there's a less than perfect option. Frozen tilapia. You know that guy in the yellow raincoat? Fuck him! Go to a BJ's or Costco and get the biggest, plainest, most freezer-burned bag you can manage. It's probably gonna cost you less, and you can flavor it to get rid of the shame. Wait, all the shame? Nah, most. You still have to live with what you did. <laughs> For this, you'll need some oil and blackening seasoning. This stuff is gonna make a nice crust around your fish. Too bad you can't afford it. Mm -mm. A tiny bottle of some special recipes can cost as much as seven bucks. But we can make our own. It's time for the ingredient roundup. <laughs> Beggar steel, got it. Hey, Garden, watering the goods? Yeah, my veggies been wilting in the heat. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, how are the herbs? Oh, they're, they're fine. They're shaded by my neck hair. All right, so we're gonna be looking for a little thyme and a little oregano. Oh, uh, uh, are you making a blackening seasoning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should grab a couple cloves of garlic while you're up there. Uh, most people use powder, but if you use the cloves and like dice them thinly, you know, you get pretty much the same effect. Not only that, but the garlic flavor will be fresher, added some life to the blackening seasoning. So I'm just gonna take this and, you know, a bit of that and a little bit of that. Thanks, Garden. And are you sure that you're Wilton? It actually looks like you have a little bit of frost. Oh, that's not ice. I'm gonna go take a long shower. That'd be smart. Okay. Well, Mark gets his stupid plants or whatever. I'm gonna get onion powder, cayenne powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Now remember, you're making a rub, so be sure you've got a lot. James! Put the paprika down. Are those bullet holes? Don't worry about it. All right. Anyway, once you have everything, crush the herbs and combine them with the other ingredients. Now everyone has their own preferred proportion, so experiment and figure it out on your own. Hey, bro Keith. Well, Mark actually builds the mix. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk to you about various things we might put in it while making a black eating seasoning. Uh, so Mark has here cayenne, oregano, mm -hmm. garlic, thyme and paprika, which are all awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, you could totally add a number of other spices. Anything else you think would be good, Mark? Well, you can certainly add just good old-fashioned black pepper into the mix. That it, you can never go wrong there. Black pepper is delicious. And my secret for a lot of things is cinnamon. It always mm. sounds a little crazy, but a little bit of cinnamon can really bring a lot of life to a, a rub. It's also important to note that you can use this kind of technique for any sort of protein. This is great for chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had blackened steak that was delicious. Just you know, feel free to experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, so long as it's a solid piece of protein you can throw in a pan mm -hmm. and fry, you're pretty much good to go. Pork is really good blackened. Ooh, yeah. pork, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All right, is our mix ready? Our mix is ready, sir. Time to return to the dirty comedy. Make sure to give it all a good shake so it mixes evenly. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the tilapia, which you're gonna to wanna to let defrost naturally. Using a microwave or an oven sucks out a lot of the moisture. Mm -hmm. Moisture, mm, moisture. I told you you're not allowed to say that word. Now, you might have to leave it out overnight. So, once you've defrosted the fish, rub the seasoning onto the tilapia. You wanna give it a nice, even coat. You also wanna get a pan going and bring it up to medium high heat. Then toss in some oil. Mm, look at that. Ooh. Then drop in the fish. It's just gonna take two to three minutes on each side. So don't be a dummy and overcook your fish, mm -hmm. unless you like the taste of coal. Which actually isn't that bad if you had a little no, sriracha. No, we're not telling our audience to eat coal. Party pooper. And there's our tilapia. 
With this little trick, you can take the sting off of some of that freezer burn, providing you with a decent meal, even if you're not near a pier. You should probably move near one, mm -hmm. though. It's a great place to hide the bodies. Why would you even... Where's Chen? Don't worry about it. We're getting arrested tonight, aren't we? Oh, no! I put your fingerprints on all the guns! <laughs> Will you stop doing that?! Yeah, yeah, I thought about that one. So what hey guys, was that good? Yeah, did we look at that one? No, it was what? not. It was fucking terrible. Oh, come oh, on, man. Like we did a great like job. Always. You know what? We nailed it, man. Like, whoa, hey, oh, whoa, whoa, come on. That whoa. is unnecessary. Dude, what? Nick. He has had a bad day. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Don't take it out on us. It's just because we pooped in his hat again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Super Pals. That's the last episode of Hand to Mouth, made possible by you, our Kickstarter backers. Thank you guys so, so much for letting Mark and I bring this to you this summer. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check out everything we have in store for you here on the theater by clicking subscribe today. Click subscribe. Mm -hmm. And even though Hand to Mouth has ended, the story continues on the Broke Eats YouTube channel. Check it out. You're going to see everything we have ready for you in the near future coming up on that channel. And keep your eyes peeled for announcements of Hand to Mouth Season 3 coming next year. There's going to be a death. Subscribe. Hey everybody, that's the last episode of Hand to Mouth here on Broke Eats for the summer, but stick around for even more awesome stuff in the fall. Now, you guys know the only reason we got to do any of this this summer is because of your support, so thank you guys so, so much. But a few of you were incredibly generous, mm -hmm. and you gave even more money, and we're going to say your names mm -hmm. with our meat faces now. That's right. Because we appreciate it so much. We appreciate everything you did for us, so welcome to the special Mark and James Mouth Hole Club. And first in the club... It's almost exclusive. I mean, like, yeah. First up, Ryan Hull. Ryan Hull? Ryan Hull is fucking awesome. Ryan Hull is amazing. Thank you for being so generous, Ryan. And... Yeah? As with everyone we're talking about mm -hmm. today, we named a recipe after you. So, Ryan Hull, you will always be known in... The Broke Eats Cookbook, mm -hmm. the Hand to Mouth Cookbook that is coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. You will be known as Ryan Hall Dumplings. That's right, Ryan Hall. You're a dumplings kind of man. That's right, because you are sweet, thick, and flowery. And dropped in boiling water. Yeah. Do it, Ryan Kramer. Talk about my penis and my pants. Let's blab okay. about my penis and my uh, pants. Talk about my penis and my. Next up, Ryan Kramer. Ryan, thank you so much for your help, sir. We could not have done Hand to Mouth without your support. You are awesome. And because you are so awesome, we named an awesome dish after you. Oh, yes. Yes, we did. What did we name after, Ryan? We named it Ryan Kramer Kanji. Kanji! I don't actually know if there will be any special effects Probably there. Probably not. We don't have a lot of money left over. Yeah. It was... We, we spent it on the people who helped us make hand to mouth. But, Kramer, you're awesome. Kanji is eaten by a lot of people in this world, so mm. you just got into about mm. a billion people's mouths in the mornings, right? Yeah. Take that with pride. You're welcome, Ryan Kramer. Mm -hmm. We love you. Mm -hmm. Tarn Thompson. Yeah. Who is not from the WWE, although. He really should be with I'm that saying, name. Tarn, just you might want to consider it. Come into the ring, Tom Thompson! And then like a Creedence Clearwater Revival song about how it's hard growing up in the South and guns and old dogs and whatnot. And it all comes from the fact that he has two T's in his name. Yes. Alliteration. TNT. TNT Tom Thompson. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah, TNT Tom That's Thompson. That's fucking awesome. Tarn. And to keep this alliteration train going, mm -hmm. what did we name Tarn after? Tarn Thompson Tilapia. Boom! That's the name of your finisher. That's right. That's the last dish we prepared yeah. on hand to mouth, Tarn. Mm -hmm. You know we love you special. You're welcome. Mm. Yeah. See you soon, TNT. Next up, we have Benjamin Draper. BD! So that's a very classy name. 
That is a very classy name. Yeah, like has a madman thing going on. Of, I bet Benjamin Draper is probably really glad that the sexiest man alive yeah. in the fictitious world for yeah. much of the last few years has mm -hmm. been Don Draper. Has that worked out for you, Ben? Or is it like what, they, they see your name and they're like, oh, oh Benjamin awesome. Draper. Yeah. And then, I, I mean, maybe you look more like me, Ben, in which case I'm so sorry. Uh, but here's the thing. Because of that, we're going to give you our classiest dish. Like the most delicious, wonderful, high class thing we've ever made. The happiest thing we've ever made. That's right. And so get your cigar, get your cup of bourbon. Cup of bourbon? I guess. Like mug of bourbon. I prefer bottles, but it's uh, all up to the person. Get your cigar, get your mug of bourbon. Bourbon to taste. And eat Ben Draper Sad Cabbage. Sad Cabbage, Ben Draper style. Boom. We love you, Ben Draper. Thank you so much for your generosity. We hope you enjoyed Hand to Mouth. That's right. Look forward to more craziness in the future. Is that not, this is what classy people do, they. I'm masturbating two goats. The face is part of how you masturbate the goats. You have to make a face while you do it. <laughs> oh, hello, Stephen Collins. Now you might think that I forgot about that time we ate pizza in South Texas. I did not forget mm -hmm. that shit, Stephen Collins. I love you. And that is yeah. why we have named a very special dish after you. A dish that's kept me alive mm -hmm. and happy for the last few months. Mm -hmm. That dish is called Chicken Pot. Yeah. Chicken Pot, mm -hmm. Steve Collins style. That's right, mm -hmm. Steve Collins Chicken Pot. Mustaches gotta stick together, Stephen. Mustaches gotta stick together to the end. Is this some kind of <laughs> text? Did you know that there are nerve endings in the tip of a mustache? Uh -uh. James. Oh yeah, it's good. Steven knows what I'm talking about, don't you, Steven Combs? You know. You know. <laughs> can we, can we just, just, just hit the button, Nick. Hit, hit the button. Just hit the button. So once again, thank you guys so much for making Hand to Mouth possible. Couldn't have done it without your support. And thank you so much for supporting the Kickstarter. You know, this was all possible because you guys had some faith in us and allowed mm -hmm. us to make something that we think is really fun. Mm -hmm. So please, share Hand to Mouth with your friends. Please Let do. folks know about it. Mm -hmm. Let them know about Broke Eats. We've got even more shows coming to you very soon. We're really excited for some of those. Oh, yeah. And keep an eye on the theater. We're going to have even more stuff coming up really soon. Mm. So thank you guys so much. Yep. Thank you for supporting us. Yep. And we hope you come along for the next step of the journey. And in the meantime, keep an eye out for the cookbook. We'll be coming out with that soon. And you'll see all of your recipes there in digital paper form. Digital form. Where yeah. it's digital. And you could print it. Yeah. In which case, you, you could see it in printer form. Him. Yeah. So... Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. All the love in the world, t mm -hmm. Very true. Bye-bye. All right, I'm going to go use all of the money on the Coke now. Jesus, we all had to right. be nice about that for like five James, months. James, don't use it all on the Coke. No, okay. We need to save some for the hookers. hookers They're coming in half bono. an hour. Hookers are pro bono. God damn it, James.